Ah, uh, don't you hate it when people ruin your shots? <laughs> G'day. I've been trying to take some Astro shots, the Milky Way, for uh, a couple of weeks. But uh, just about every night, it's been cloudy. It's cloudy again, it's going to be cloudy for another week. But the other night, it was perfectly clear. So I went up to Mount Donabuang, about an hour from where I live. And uh, there's a big tower on top of Mount Donabuang. And I thought that would be a good foreground item for the Milky Way and the stars. So uh, I got my gear together, drove for an hour in the dark, uh, got there you know, just after midnight. And I thought, right, I'll uh, do a test shot with the phone to see what sort of stars are up there. And it was absolutely brilliant. Millions of stars, it's fantastic. So that's when I set my gear up. I had my XC4, which I'm filming on now, and the Samyang 12mm lens, really good for Astro. Got it all set up, got the composer right, the tower was there, a few trees in the middle was going to be the Milky Way. I tried a few different things, I tried some real long exposures just to see if I could get star trails, but then I decided, no, I'd, I'd cut down, I'd do 20 second shots with the 12mm, that would uh, mean the stars were still, you know, dots and not streaks, and it should be long enough to light up the tower as well, and you'd be able to see that. So I was happy as Larry, taking shots away, had an in inbuilt in, in, in the camera on, so it was just working itself. I'm just standing there admiring the view. And then 1.30 in the morning, a car comes up the hill. I can see the headlights coming. And I'm thinking, ah, oh, is this another photographer? The car comes up and I'm looking at the sky and this comet streaks across, straight through the middle of the frame. Oh, fantastic, the exact moment that happened. The car's headlights hit my camera full on and the shot was totally ruined. I was not a happy chappy. So I'm still trying to take photos and the car's sitting there in the car park with its lights on for a while and then people get out and they turn their phone torches on and they're wandering around with these lights. And I'm thinking, oh, you're right in my way. I had enough shots by then and I thought, oh, maybe I should just pack it in, this is going to be terrible. And then another car turns up, same thing, headlights on everywhere, parks, more people get out, more lights and torches. I'm thinking maybe I should just, you know, give it up, go home. But then I thought, nah, I don't know how long they're going to stay. I'll keep shooting. So I'm waiting there, the camera's taking photos and they're wandering around and then they decide they'll climb the tower with all their torches and lights. Oh, right in the middle of my shots. So I'm thinking, I'll just wait them out. The camera's still taking photos. What the heck? It took them more than half an hour, at least, before they decided they'd had enough. They wandered back down the tower with all their torches and lights again. Eventually took off and then winded down the hill. Left me alone again. So then I thought, oh, OK, I'll, I better stop the camera and I'll just see what these shots are like. Because uh, at least I got some before they turned up. So I start looking at the camera thinking half these shots are going to be ruined. There's, there's lights everywhere and people wandering around with torches. I'm checking the uh, pictures on the back of the camera. I'm thinking, hey, some of these aren't looking too bad. After they'd ruined my best shot with the comet flying through the frame and their headlights blew it all out, they parked their car, left their lights on for a while and their tail lights were lighting up the tower in red. I thought, that looks pretty good. Wow. So I flicked on a few more shots where they're wandering around with their torches and then they climb the tower and I've got these light paintings going up the tower. Yeah, that wasn't bad either. Maybe uh, I'll use that myself one day. Next time I'm up here on my own, <laughs> I'll, I'll do some light painting or uh, leave the, the brake lights on and light something up in red. The moral of this story, short and simple though it is, is when things go wrong, Sometimes it can be all right. It even gave me ideas to what to do in the future if I'm there myself. Hope you enjoyed these shots. It was a brilliant night. Now it's all cloudy again. I have to wait for at least another week before the sky is clear at night. But, you know, that's what the weather's like. So anyway, don't despair when, uh, when things don't go to plan because uh, 
you need to be flexible, you need to adjust your thinking um, and go with the flow, see what happens. Keep shooting. Pick up your camera, take it for a walk and have some fun. Bye.